cut that off. Okay, just great. Yeah, go I'll just go. Yeah. Okay. Hey everybody, I just want to make sure that we are thinking about how to maximize the time that we have with people in our stores. And right now, with all of the COVID closures, people who are coming out to shop are there to shop. So I want to talk about conversion ratio today. So if you have 10 customers walk in your store and 70% of them leave and you've converted three of them, so you have 30% conversion ratio and 70% of those customers, seven of them have walked out without purchasing anything. How can you increase this number of your shoppers? So there's a couple things you can do. Conversion ratio is your most important ratio. How do you get people to convert to shoppers whenever they come in? This kind of transcends a lot of different um, places where people conduct business. So whether you're a restaurant, an insurance agent, there's a lot of things that you can do in order to make sure that people turn into buying, paying customers. So for retail, one of the things you can do is increase your average dollar sale, your ADS. What can you do that are add-ons or upsells? Just like if you go to a restaurant and people are looking to sit down for dinner, you know that you're gonna have those people as your customer. But what can you do to increase that sale, that ticket? So can you add on a drink? Can you add on a dessert? If you're in a retail setting, can you add on something else for them to buy? So they're there to buy a shirt. Can you add on perfume or a lipstick or a piece of jewelry or a scarf? If you're in insurance, can you add on another service, something else that while they're sitting there with you, they are there to be with you. So what are you going to do to increase that sale while you already have their time? Indoor retail facilities usually have a conversion ratio of between 12 and 18%. Outdoor retail facilities typically have a conversion ratio between 22 and 25%. A lot of what we have here in Zinesville is really an outdoor retail type setting. So what can you do to go from 22 to 25 percent up to 30 or 40 or 50? So we want to make sure that you're thinking about this. Units per transaction is another one of those metrics where you can think about what you can do for the people who are already in that store. So if you have more units, in that sale, that also means that you're going to up that average dollar sale and increase this conversion ratio within those people who are already in your store. So make sure you have things at all price points. And if people are coming in, make sure you're selling to them.